The following is a Glass City Communications production. Captain's Log, Stardate 9845.7. The Valkyrie's been pulled off its mapping and exploratory mission on orders of Admiral Sundergaard. There have been attacks lately on several Federation ships and stations near the Klingon border over the last few days. Chancellor Azabor herself has contacted the Federation to denounce this as the acts of dishonorable Klingons, unhappy with the newly founded peace between us. She's dispatched a fleet to track them down, but a starship, namely us, will be there on the border as well to head the effort due to being in Federation space. We're currently en route. Travis, sensors on long range. Michael, all defensive systems on standby. Position report, Mr. Shrunt. On course, 231, Mark 12, in the direction of Epsilon 7, ETA 1 hour, 12 minutes. Any further updates from Starfleet? Negative, Captain, although I'm now picking up a signal. It's garbled seems to be from the general direction of Deep Space M2. That's along the border, sir. 34 degrees north of the galactic plane from our current heading. It's 2.2 hours at current speed, sir. The signal stopped transmitting, sir, in the middle of a transmission. Change course for the station and increase to warp 8. Execute. Of the crew of the Starship Valkyrie. In peacetime or wartime. Its mission is the same as all of Starfleet's. To seek out new life and new civilizations. To preserve the peace and protect the Federation. To brave the unknown in man's greatest frontier. Episode 304, Klingon Honor. Three minutes to station, sir. Drop out of warp, Shron. Three-quarter impulse. Three-quarter impulse power, aye. Tactical on screen. Sensor readings? Heavy ionization of the area. Consistent with heavy weapons fire. Can you read the station? Yes, sir, but the readings are garbled. We need to get closer for any detailed readings. I don't want to get caught by someone hiding out here in all this interference. Red alert! Navigation deflectors detecting small bits of debris. Most seem to be from the station, but some appear to be consistent with known Cleon hull materials. Now detecting a faint ion trail leading out of the system. Notify Starfleet of our findings. The Klingon hull fragments, the ion trail, and that we're going to be checking out the station. Travis, get a lock on that ion trail. We're going to need it. Dr. Ravenwood is working on the wounded here, Captain. 27 survivors. There is significant damage, but the station is still operable. Twenty-three of them are wounded, sir. We'll need to treat them on board Valkyrie. We'll beam the landing party and all wounded back. We'll leave a team of eleven to support the station. Five security, five engineers, and we'll have, uh... How about Lieutenant Myra Taylor command the team? This will be good experience for her. We're gonna go follow that ion trail. Aye, sir. 
We'll get everyone together for transport. Stand by, sir. The trail is leading on course 32, mark 104, holding steady at warp 5. All decks holding at go alert. All weapon systems on hot stamp. Sir, sensors picking up a group of five Klingon ships coming in our direction. Two Contiga class and three birds of prey. Lieutenant Bellamy, open hailing frequencies. Hailing frequencies open, sir. Transmitting lingual code. Klingon Vessels, this is the Federation Starship Valkyrie, Captain Edward Stanfield commanding. I am Komar, Captain of the Britok, Commander of this fleet. Chancellor, as it were, has ordered us to assist you in tracking down the ship of misguided and dishonorable warriors. Greetings, Commander Komar. Yes, we were informed of your mission and we welcome your assistance. We've picked up an ion trail that we're currently following. If you'll come alongside, we'll see about tracking these people down. Very well, Captain. We will accompany your ship. Kamar out. Damage control parties to emergency conditions. Friendly fellow. Wouldn't you say? In place and holding, sir. Very much so, number one. Mr. Swanson. Maintain yellow alert. Keep a close eye on them. Aye, sir. Distress call from the freighter SS Bowman reports they are under attack by a Klingon ship and they give them their coordinates. Send them to the helm. Shrun, lay in, and execute immediately. The Klingons have already changed course and they're increasing their speed. Increase speed to match them, Shrun. No. Make that 5% faster than their speed. Aye, sir. Valkyrie to Commander Komar. What is it, Captain? Thanks for waiting for us. This is still Federation space. You're here to assist us, not take over the hunt. We do what we must. That vessel must be stopped. We are prepared to do that. Are you, Captain? Of course it must be stopped. That's what we're doing here. A Klingon vessel attacking inside Federation space is a sure way to destroy the peace treaty between our governments. Neither of us wants that, Komar. Agreed, Captain. Picking up debris from the freighter. No life signs, Captain. Sir! Cleon Katinga class vessel on navigational sensors. Extreme range. They spotted us! They're trying to elude, Captain! Lock on and intercept! Sensors show standard Katinga class. Full crew of 510. Minor damage to various systems, but it appears to be fully operational. We need to intercept that ship now. Contact Comar and advise them, Lieutenant. Aye, sir. Course change to intercept. Speed increase to warp 8.5. The Koyans have moved to match us, sir. Closing on target. Battle stations! Stand by tractor beams and all weapons. Klingons moving to englobe the target. Their disruptors are fully charged and locking on. Komar, hold your fire. I want to end this peacefully. The hostiles fired on the fleet, sir. Attention hostile Klingon vessel. This is Captain Edward Stanfield of the Federation Starship Valkyrie. Hold your fire and stand down. You are surrounded and outgunned. Please open a channel so we can resolve this situation peacefully. No response, Captain. They fired on Komar's ship. 
I want to pinpoint phaser strike on their forward disruptor bank, tight beam, and fire. A direct hit, sir. Disruptor banks is out of commission. Coil overloaded. We are being held by the hostiles now, sir. Put them on screen and tie in with Comar at the same time, Lieutenant. Aye, sir. You're on, Captain. Filthy dog! Why haven't you finished us? We're attempting to find out why you've been attacking Federation's ships and stations. The Federation signed a peace treaty with the Empire nearly four years ago. Chancellor Ezebor herself sent this Klingon fleet to assist us in stopping you, so we can preserve that peace. You have dishonored yourselves in your houses. You were honor-bound to follow the wishes of the High Council and the High Command. We have achieved a peace with the Federation. Why would they do such a thing unless they've been corrupted by the Federation? We've been fighting each other for nearly 150 years, and now that's suddenly changed just because of Praxis? Ridiculous! It's the natural order of things to fight. Fire! Bridge, that hit damage shield generator 7. Attempting to reinforce. Thank you, Mr. Fox. Bridge out. The fleet has fired on the hostile. Hostile's weapons capability is nearly zero. Traitors! You fire on us to protect a Federation ship? We are Klingons! We are at peace with them. And it is the will of the High Council. We are honored bound to fulfill their orders. Failing to follow them is dishonorable. Your houses will carry the shame of your dishonor for generations. And trying to destroy your own ship will also brand you as honorless traitors. We only want this to end peacefully. I want to preserve the peace our two peoples have fought long and hard to achieve. I've fought Klingons for years, but I want this peace to last. Did this to preserve the Empire and preserve our honor. But I fear we've done the opposite. Very well, Kovar. We're powering down our shields and what's left of our weapons. Captain Stanfield, we surrender to your combined fleet. We accept, Commander. We're remanding you and your crew to the fleet and Commander Komar for your return to the Empire. Commander Komar, I'm leaving them in your custody. Thank you, Captain. We will leave now. Komar, out. They're moving out at impulse towards the border. Their shields and weapons are all powering up! All six ships! Shields up, red alert. It's gone! The rebel ship's been destroyed, sir. There's no survivors, Captain. I want to talk to Komar. Now. Komar! What was that all about? They'd surrendered already. You were supposed to escort them back. Captain. Once you turn them over to me, they became my responsibility. You know nothing of Klingon honor. If they had returned, they would have been dishonored. Their houses, dishonored, disbanded. By destroying them in battle, they gained a warrior's death. But to kill them without a trial? Were they not guilty? Did we not catch them in the act? There would have been no trial, Captain. They felt a warrior's need to fight, and that the peace with the Federation was wrong. They longed for battle. I feel that need too. 
But I know my place, and my honor has me follow my orders, as all Klingons should, if they are honorable. So do not lecture me, Captain. This was a Klingon matter, and it has been settled. I think I understand, Commander. I've fought Klingons and other enemies for around 25 years, but I've always preferred peace. And I'm glad to have that peace between us maintained. Thank you for your assistance, Commander. Kapla, Captain. Peace isn't always easy, is it, sir? No, but I believe it's always worth striving for. Hopefully one day this peace treaty will turn into a friendship and create a strong ally. Yes, sir. Navigator, plot us a course for Magellan 2. Helm, warp 4. Mr. Friend, execute. Aye, sir. You've been listening to Star Trek Valkyrie. Episode 304, Klingon Honor. Starring Jerry Stanford as Captain Edward Stanfield, Michael Liebman as Commander Andrew Miller, Toby Kerfman as Lieutenant Commander Schrun, Michael Studeberg as Chief Engineer Paul Elberg, Dean Rogers as Lieutenant Michael Swanson, Jacob Stanford as Lieutenant Travis Reed, Bring Stanford as Lieutenant Gina Bellamy, Alexis Waters as Dr. Anne Ravenwood, John Quan Yun as Lieutenant Stephen Fox, Andrea Carroll as the ship's computer, guest starring Clay Sayer as Commander Komar, and Eric L. Watts as the Rebel Klingon Commander. Music by Dennis McCarthy, Ron Jones, Fred Steiner, Paul Belarjan, Jay Chataway, and David Bell. Original theme music for Valkyrie by Jesse Richardson. Your announcer is Andrea Carroll. Our associate producer is Jacob Stanford and produced by John Quan Yen. Star Trek Valkyrie is based on Star Trek, created by Gene Roddenberry. Star Trek is a registered trademark of Paramount and CBS, all rights reserved. Star Trek Valkyrie is not affiliated with Paramount, CBS, or any other Star Trek rights holders. No copyright infringement is intended. Star Trek Valkyrie is a production of Glass City Communications. Executive producer is Jerry Stanford. Visual Arts Director for Valkyrie is Video Space FX. Stay tuned for our next episode, available for free download at StarTrekValkyrie.com and available on YouTube, youtube.com slash user slash ValkyrieNCC2590.